Hello again. So I, um, this is the second video I've ever made. I hate, absolutely hate selfies, making videos, all of that stuff. Um, the first video I made was exactly a year and a day ago and I, I wanted to make another video about, you know, what that one was kind of gearing towards, but I still am not sure the proper way to do it because I don't want to mislead people. But this time, uh, of course the train's going by, but um, this time, this video is about a dream I had on August 26th. It was a Thursday night. It happened, um, I woke up from it at about 2.30 in the morning. It's definitely not the first dream that I've had that I definitely would classify as you know a message but this one was by far the most powerful and um, it's so crazy it was so short but I've been compelled to make a video about it especially since so many other people around the world are making videos like this um, but it was very short maybe 10 to 15 seconds long I've never had, uh, I've never heard the voice of God. I've never been spoken to <laughs> by God in that way. I mean, I think he's spoken to me before, but um, in this dream, it was a dream and it was it, of God speaking to me. God spoke to me with his voice. And um, he said this, well, first, you know what, I'm going to tell you kind of like what, how it was. I was um, in a dream. I mean, I was just suddenly dreaming. Everything around me was white. It wasn't a light or anything. It was just white. I was surrounded by white. And that's when I heard his voice. Now, when I was describing to my friends that I told this dream to about what his voice sounded like, I described it without even thinking what I said. I just It just came out of my mouth. Um, I said... His voice was like a loving father. And then as soon as it came out of my mouth, I realized what I had said. He wasn't angry. He wasn't, he wasn't condescending or, or, or it wasn't like a desperate warning sound. It was just like a loving father telling me. It was a man's voice. And he said this, he said, sit back and watch terribly in the blink of an eye that was it and as soon as he said the words in the blink of an eye oh I, I got a vision and the vision was of a hand doing this gesture like sorry if I pick my thumbs it's kind of embarrassing but it was making this gesture like indicating a tiny amount and then boom I woke up at this time it was so hot it was August 26th that my husband's company was waking up. They were sending him to work. They were beginning at 3.30 in the morning because <clears throat> he's a construction work worker and, you know, they build metal buildings. It was just so hot and they were starting that early in the morning. So um, I woke up and I sat straight up. And as I sat up, my husband, who is not a believer, unfortunately, yet, I'm praying for him every day. Please pray for him. But, um... I sat straight up and he was leaving the bedroom for work. He was dressed so I know exactly what time it was. It was 2.30 in the morning. And he, um, and before I even had time to process it, I mean, it was that fast. Sit back and watch. And then he paused and said, terribly. And then he paused again and then he said, in the blink of an eye. Kind of like that. Like that's where the inflection was of his voice and everything. But, um. I sat straight up. I saw the hand, I sat straight up, woke up, and I'm like, fish. That's my husband's nickname. It's how I met him, and so I, I'm always gonna call him that. But um, I said, fish. I just had a dream and God spoke to me. And he was like, what did he say? And I said it, you know, I said exactly what he said. And again, I just woke up, so I didn't have any time to process any of this yet. I mean, it happened, I woke up, he was walking out the door, and I told him, what he said and then he looked at me and he was like terribly what do you think that means so from that moment 
I let my mind start racing and running and, um, you know, I started kind of worrying about my family, you know, because none of my kids, my husband are really, truly saved. Um, and I started letting my mind run away with things because I struggle with, you know, feeling not good enough, always not worthy. I struggle with things that I can't let go since, um, you know, I'm trying, but my biggest thing is addiction with smoking cigarettes. And I just, it's like, I pray about it and pray about it and pray about it and I can't let it go. So I'm just letting my mind race about all the things that it could be. You know, what if he's telling me to sit back and watch in the blink of an eye, I'm going to lose a family member. You know, it's just the way my mind works, even though, of course, the first thing I thought of was the rapture. He's talking about the end of days. I mean, that was immediately, obviously what I thought. But after like a week went by, I just, my mind was just, this was driving me crazy. I had to have clarity. So that night I went to bed and I started praying about what it meant exactly. You know, just I just need clarity. I'm pretty sure I know what you mean, but please, Lord. I said, God, you know, give me clarity. Give me something to, to let me know for sure without a doubt what you said to me. And when I woke up in the morning, I was my day off. So I came in the family room and I turned on the TV and it was on YouTube. And I really don't watch a lot of TV, but it was on YouTube and on the home page, highlighted in the center. I actually pulled it up on my TV screen so I could show you. But um, the morning of, you know, the prayer that I prayed for clarity, I woke up and what I saw was this, except for it was a little different. I, I searched it on here so that I could kind of give you an image of what was on the TV. So this is what I saw. Except for minus, you know, obviously the search letters and everything. It was the home screen and at the top, so like up here, and you know, there were more videos underneath. That was the video. It was highlighted like it is called In the Blink of an Eye, Rapture, Dreams, and Visions. I mean, come on. Could it be, could it be any clearer than that? So I didn't have time to watch it right then because it was like pretty long. So the next day at work, I watched the video that was highlighted and those are really good. It's a good series. I recommend watching it for sure in the blink of an eye episodes. I think there's like seven of them or something right now, but um, I watched the one that was highlighted and in the video because the other, the other part of what he said to me that's been weighing heavily on me was terribly, you know, he said, sit back and watch terribly in the blink of an eye so terribly that word scared me like does that mean I'm gonna be left behind I'm so scared of that you know but um anyway I watched the video and in the video is a girl's story um and she's telling you know her rapture dream and one of the things she said and it was like I felt a hundred percent that the holy spirit was letting me know that that's what he meant she said she brought up the spot, the place in the Bible, which I'm not, you know, I'm not well versed by any means. I read it, but I, I can't, I'm not, I, it's hard for me to memorize things, but the Bible describes the, that, that day, <clears throat> the great and terrible day of the Lord. And in that video that was highlighted the morning I woke up after my prayer, that was one of the stories and she said that and she she emphasized on it a little bit and I just was uh blown away blown away he never ceases to amaze me so yeah God spoke to me and he said sit back and watch terribly in the blink of an eye and poof I woke up so uh yeah hmm. I hope that doesn't mean I'm gonna be sitting back at home and watching this great and terrible day of the Lord unfold because I want to go. Anyway, if this can help anybody, anybody at all, I hope it does because that really happened and it was definitely one of those dreams, one of those dreams that I would say it wasn't just a dream. It's It will never leave my mind. It's exactly what happened. It was really fast. Anyway, yeah, so that's, that's what happened. And um, 
I know I said this over a year ago that I was going to make another video and I haven't yet about all of the stuff that I've been through in my life before I was saved. But um, anyway, that I've had a lot of other dreams um, were, I, I believe, like rapture dreams of what's going to happen on that day. And I'd like to uh, make some more videos. I just hate videos. I hate seeing myself. I, I hate it. So... I haven't really done anything. I don't put on makeup. I haven't even brushed my hair today. So God forgive me. I just felt really compelled to make this video. Anyway. And that's it. Alright. God bless you all. Have a great day.